Greetings there, everyone, and welcome back to the Falling Stars mod for Hearts of Iron Form. Your host, Mr. D. Shaky Lover, but... Or just shaky lever, but the dial shifts. The draconical clock was created by the draconical cult long ago to count down important events within the draconicum. After the fall of the central draconicum, the technology is deprecated and all dials have stayed still. Although today, suddenly all they have shifted forward. Earlier reports suggest some mechanism in the ruins of the central draconicum may be active in an event that had previously been scheduled years ago before Hades destroyed the automated central intelligence, the ACI. Probably nothing. Let's get some information. So right now we've got oh dr draconical clock. Oh. And people are killing each other still, whatever. Um, these people, the Furva wants to uh, become free, but I don't know, we're trying to build up stuff there, so we'll see what happens. We've got a high approval, which is pretty good. Centralized authority decree. We've got the office financing decree. We're trying to wait and get to 50, 50 more political power thing here, so we can actually do stuff here. But we just finished armored research. Um, a final lesson in land doctrine. But uh, that would be bad. More makes I like that a lot, but. Fueling the buildup. Without proper natural resources, there's little we can do in terms of production. The weather. Through trader extraction, must fuel our factories. And continue working on our navy. And our army, too. Yeah, our army's kind of lacking. So, what happens? It's 1939, though, everybody. Happy happy New Year. Uh, there you go. I'll do that, too. Any more? Nope. Good. And 15% increases. Uh, we could spend it. Uh, I'll spend it anyways. Now we can do all this stuff here. Approval's not super high, but approval's actually positive right there, which is pretty decent. Um, and we are going, like I said in the last video, uh, with mobile warfare. So, hmm. so many factories. Resource-wise, what are we lacking? We got a decent amount of fuel. We do need some chromium. So and there's chromium over here. As much as I want to do this one, I'll probably go with the rare resource stockpile. Rare resource stockpiles throughout the nation must be open to enhance our production, equipment production. Uh, what's next? Imperial Senacy, full Imperial Power, more political power, more manpower, army XP. Revivalism, huh? Nice. Very nice, actually. We got some more political power from him. We got this guy from our division attack, which is pretty decent. Naval stuff? Uh, honestly, we'll probably go with this guy. Yeah, yeah, but we need to start focusing more on our, our planes as well, probably. These guys are decent, but we need more stuff here, like artillery. It's not bad. Put some artillery on those guys. We'll place palace lands, our veterans. We'll do that too. I'm going to actually remove this because we don't really need it there. Just make them like 40 combo widths. We have no discount um, in terms of. Actually, you know that's too much. Yeah. There we go. That's a little better. 41, 42, and then. 42? Good enough for me and you. We don't have many divisions like that, but we do have a few. Uh, who do we want to improve? 25% more, more construction speed. Wow. Better industrialization, that'd be pretty nice. Uh, two two civvies, ooh. We're gonna chalk this up as fast as we can. Build more civvies like that, yes please. 10%, only 10% of the way there, that's not bad. Build, 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 build. The gates deep within the heart of the once great city of Talgar. There lies a place of mystery and danger, known as the Central Draconicum. This sprawling complex of underground chambers and tunnels was once the center of a powerful technology-focused cult known as the Draconicum, or Draconicals Cult. But 20 years ago, the disaster struck when Hades destroyed the automated essential intelligence, ending over a thousand years of the cult's schemes. Now as we explore the remains of the Central Draconicum, we have gained access to an array of technologies sought to be destroyed deep within the tunnels. Secure the zone, use the technology. Heck yeah, well, you're gonna use it. Now, it's probably the worst one to do, but I have no idea. And we also have medium tanks already, which is pretty good. Um, that stuff is okay. Better artillery would be decent as well. And we can only get 2.46 political power every single day, which is obviously not enough, but whatever. The dial, draconical clock. Uh, what else? Overall, not bad. I can get more approval, maybe. Um, I'm not sure if we need more divisions or not, but, you know, we'll see. Resource stockpile tungsten exchange. Uh, tungsten is important natural resources required for continued growth. We'll ensure that we have continued access to it. Beautiful. And air reformer. Bad weather penalty. Close air support be decent. There we go. Resources for planes. Rubber and aluminum is important for the construction of planes. Without them, our war defense will falter. Very true. Keep working on these guys. 2, 15, 15, 7 is not bad. Anything else? No? 25% of the way done? Just keep building the crap out of everything as fast as you possibly can. More construction? Oh, yes, please. We're going to need more fuel, too. Let's grab this one. Alright, what's next? Ooh. Another civvy? Oh, yes, please. 
say it so, my friends. Say it so. Military High Command, Artillery. Um, anything here? No, it's not too special. Land Doctrine, Naval Doctrine, Armor Warfare. Ooh. Ooh, you get more daily gain. That's not bad. Generico? Council of Theorists? That's not bad. You get more daily gain for everything. Yeah, I, I like that one a lot, actually, probably the most. Resources for planes would be pretty good. Oh, God. Oh, uh, hello. The fifth Dragonopolis Crisis. Now the time for the past, or the sins of the past to be mended. Now the dra dragons and moths of the southern stretch raise their swords once again. Bastio, herald of the world's requiem in the godless empire, found themselves again, once again, of course, in conflict. After the shocking outcome of the third crisis, nothing new now is off the table. The globe, will, the globe will be rocked once again. Oh, crap. We're trying to train our guys and are attacking us again? Come on, man. How many times do we teach you this lesson, old man? So... It's Daria, so who are we at? Burvia, Beryl, Grons, Alandar... These guys are down here. Bashtia, Flare Authority. And the other Alandar, these guys. Oh, they're over here. Bashtia's over there. Bashtia. Dealing with Yellow Wyvern Horde. Yellow Wyvern Horde has announced neutrality in the war against Bashtia. Good hinder progress, but declaring them would surely push them into the modern ranks. Invade them. Let them stay neutral. In all honesty, that might not be a bad idea. Dealing with the King of Alandar. Wait till the final day to do anything. Tungsten in exchange. Dealing with Nimia. I stayed neutral in our wars against them. Lunia? I don't know who you're at, but okay. Volunteers and faction, sure, why not? Better guns, yes, please. Oh, what else do we have? So, we got kind of a global crisis now on our hands, or a very large crisis for us. It's fine with us, sure, everybody. You want to join in? That's fine with me. We'll go to war with everybody, why not? Divisions? Sure. I mean, we have enough manpower. I'm not super concerned about that. We're doing okay so far. Uh, war bonds would not be bad, too. Do a war decree. War bonds. Consumer goods factories. Weekly war support goes up. We have, like, no stability. Holy crap. Yeah, we'll do war bonds. Why not? Air superiority wise, we've got nothing. We probably should actually have some air bases down here if all if at all possible. Sure. Join the war. Why not? See what we can do. See what we can muster up. Muster fluster up, you know. Nice. High approval, huh? We're doing alright so far. Collective ride south. Losses twenty seven thousand. They lost a lot of guys. Wow. I just started making some medium tanks too. Ah, Alandar's gone too. Good. Very good. Nice. Imperial Vice Spice. Vice Spire Lens. 
uh, demands West Spire's watch. The very capable General Imperial Vice Spires requested control of West Spire's watch for Imperial military reasons. Imperial Vice Spire, however, has no opposition to force demand. Hand it over, hand it over. No. I don't think so. Beautiful. An excavation miracle. Our investments in excavating paid off. Now it's time to capitalize on a previous success. Why not? Infantry. And it's still not bad to get. Enemy air support recovery rate. That's pretty good too, though, for everybody. Let's get more recovery rate. I never choose that one, so it's a little different. So fighting through here is going to be a pain in the butt now. Heavy MGs when we make our own planes. Armor would be very nice too. Continue investing. Let's see what you can do. Ooh, Rod of that's not good. Um, that's okay, so we'll go here as well. Build ourselves up as much as possible. Infantry, infantry. We should be letting in doing fine for the most part. Um, oh, cavalry's a little different. I want to get medium tanks, but we don't have enough. We really do not have enough. Definitely more already. Uh, sure, down, down to one. Answer the lend lease. Best machine tools. Fuel is actually okay. Cannons are nice to have. Military factories are good. Yes, yes. Making more and more and more. Nimia's gone. Good. Here's two are good. It's almost 1940. Fuel refining. Nice. Nokia is gone, a little more arty too. That's what we like to see. Uh, excavation Miracle. Miracle continues in district pipeline. Uh, invest in refining. We still have enough, ha we don't even have a million manpower here too. Further investments in refining are required for continued success. Okay. Supply is going to get very bad down here. Very, very bad. Where's most of their army? Why are they so easy? Are we just very strong? I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. Honestly, I might just lower this. Where are we at? 15%. 14.5, really. Dockyard training time. Logistics. Motorized infantry. I don't mind boosting up infantry just a little bit more, maybe. New Imperium's gone. That's good. Sure. Holy dragons of the flare, right? Survivability studies. Who better than just please? Ooh. Bastion Island, huh? Well then, Cult of the Unseen. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Okay. Uh, economic overload. Yeah, I'll do some of that, and we'll do some of that too. The land force is developed, will come far, but the doors are for the growth. Zarya, huh? 
Ah, they're down here. It's fine, we'll get them. We will definitely get them. Now we get better planes too. That'd be good. Ah, oh, we carry. We don't have any planes for the carrier, but okay. Ah, oh, but if slot, yeah, it wouldn't be bad. You can do that too. We have the advantage with enough supply because the supplies can be very bad for us. Future military technology. Uh, so I'm going to set a last push further into the unknown of advanced military technology and hope for continued success in the field. Why not? Taking the port will be very helpful for us. Very, very helpful. Nice. Your political power, huh? Nice. Uh, let's go with plain stuff. We've only lost 100,000. We've killed off quite a few guys, too. Pretty decent overall. Cannons, too. Bashi is not dead. Nerva. Well, that kind of freaking sucks. Well, we'll get them just a little bit, but we'll destroy them there. Nerva. Huh. Because we need Nerva. Where's Nerva? Oh. Oh. God. Why are they in the war? That's so far away. Oh, we're, well, they're all up here, too. Oh. How are we supposed to get up there? What the heck? Cult of the Unseen. Well, that sucks. Should not have gone involved with that. But I'll try to take these guys out, because there's just a little few remnants left. I'm not super worried about it. Right now, our army's at what strength size? Oh, we're super close. A couple more divisions, and we'll have them. Uh, done. Industrial pipeline. Still on construction speed. The miracle continues. I can't wait to do this one. Continued investment in extraction will make us truly rich. Yeah, why not? Rapid industrial buildup if, if we can. Now is the moment. There's a little time to act. So we must throw all the cards on the table. Stability be darned. Emergency military investments. Our enemies will soon be at the gates. We need factories now. Economic overload. Sound of crank the construction force up to 11. Our country must be developed. Industrial priority. With solid development. Industrial priority has become the norm to the east. In the east lies potential enemies. All as we de deal with threats in the north and south. The surprise attack from them could be devastating. We need buffer states. Also into the skies. Fire from the ground up as you certify fire on the front of the sky. Control over the air will give us better control over the battle. Air superiority. Before all else, air superiority must be ensured. Cutting edge planes. New fighter models will have to be made continuously be developed as enough fall behind other nations. I have support. Strategic bombers and close air support further the capabilities of our existing already existing land forces. Improved casts. Improved air doctrine push us beyond our current limits and force our enemy to choose between their battles carefully. A final lesson in air doctrine. Whether air forces develop, well come far, but there's always room for further growth to the seas. Trade, trade via seas and the protection of those trade routes are about to industrialize and militarization. And here we are now at everybody, in which we've landed and going to take out the Greater Kran and the Nerd of Expeditionary Force, and to get to Nerve eventually too, to finally hopefully end this godforsaken war. But overall, not bad. It's actually been pretty easy overall. Not too many issues, not too many problems, as far as I, I can tell so far. Got a couple more divisions here. That's pretty nice. At least one more. Um, topic research is pretty good. It's 1941. Greater Kran has capitulated, which is very, very good. And uh, fuel? Sure, we'll get more fuel because we can. You, me, and taking out everyone around here. What's not to love? In the meantime, commando training. Uh, we'll do that one. We'll grab these guys. Hello. Um, so only 16 ships, which does kind of suck. But oh well. 
Uh, just go and dock here real quick, and uh, you'll come all up here. And that's our next goal. Should be able to get there, but it's going to take a little bit of time to get everyone up there and whatnot, so. Uh, looks like we're out of infantry equipment, equipment again. Which does kind of suck, but whatever. Are we grouping offense? Sure, guys. Yeah, we'll take everything you, you have. In the meantime, we're doing air superiority. <coughs> and let's take a look see. So we haven't done this. We need more stability, but what else is new? Diplomatic training's okay. Uh, dockyard expansion. Access to the dockyards must be enhanced to increase the size of our naval forces. I completely agree. Rude armor. Five research slots. Not bad. 41. We're going to base some better planes off screen. How are we doing? Cancel lem lease, that's fine, whatever. Oh, uh, we're doing alright. Alright, Nerva's a big target here. It's actually a massive target. Nice. Hey, we're slowly getting there though. Dockyard expansions, uh, finalized dockyard growth. Dockyard growth must be continued and finalized. We prepare to move into the next phase of industrial development. Yes, yes. Uh, that's a lot of time. Which one do we want? 1942 now. That'd be 42. There we go. Plenty of political power. <coughs> uh, what do we have? Ooh, yes. Imperial ascendancy. Approval's pretty high for both. Here's Parliament approval. Um, we could. Standard living. It's not bad. Uh, Parliament approval. Oh, uh, you know what? Why not? Research army XP. This is pretty good, too. That one's that's actually very good as well. Uh, we're getting invaded from. Ah. Really, I want you guys. Go from here, three to attack here, maybe Tropican. Three, three, and then three. Might have been easier just to do that one, but whatever. Uh, get the tanks over here so we don't lose it. I don't have to. Re don't want to have to reset that if all possible. Engines are nice. Should be able to move fast enough over here. There we go. No issues, right? Oh crap. Stop calling it more people into the war. Nerva and Bakshtia. Wait, how's Bakshtia? Not dead. Are they down here too? God dang it. Well, that sucks. That would be quick to do this. But apparently not. But yes, this is the D shaky mod, like I said before. Um, yeah, why not? And we'll go down to here. Backhand blow, and that one too. We're done with the land auction. Nice. Naval, uh, naval research. New class of ships and new ship technology must be procured. Pretty much. I got our ships. Are they still down here or something? Yeah, like move over here. Come on. There you go. And now do that. Do this instead. Ninety six. <clears throat> Ninety seven. Maybe research. And famous research. In addition to trade, we're moving our ground force can be enhanced by naval supremacy. Cruiser subs, huh? Uh 
can try to patrol, I guess. Um, can't build any radar here, which really sucks. Get some planes out here, maybe. That's not going to help very much, is it? Well, we have to. We just do this one instead, and I don't want to do this, but whatever. Uh, two divisions go from Greater Port to this one only. I really thought by now we'd have it done, but you know, whatever. And then you guys go from here. There. Get a couple more days. It's only two, so it shouldn't take too long. Well, we've got quite a few things. The plan? Several nations have now drafted possible plans to divert the asteroid. The one similarity between them, however, is that they would all take far too long to implement, and an asteroid is far too close to easily be knocked off course. Is this the end? Is Sarah confirmed? From draconical ashes came the down rumors of the end, but not until now has been proven with non draconicum sciences. Now, scientists from across the world have confirmed that an asteroid is on a likely collision course of the world. Impact would create an extinction level threat. Final week. Estimates that only one week remains before impact. It's estimated that flare will be ground zero. Mass evacuations of ascension and the flare have been a gun. Elsewhere, the emergency bunkers are under construction. Unfortunately, there's far too little time for anything significant to be accomplished. Songs of death. Upon the public release of this information, utter panic has broken out through every level of society. Very few seem to be properly able to cope with this information. Some states have declared a state of emergency. Some appear unable to function to even that extent. A refugee crisis. When every single living thing or dragon moth is a refugee, a crisis is sure to ensue. Millions seek transport off the island of Ascension. Even elderly young dragons and moths unfit for flight have been gun making the journey across the sea to the continent. The once great city of Ravenride, too, has become a near ghost town. All those remain consist of dragons who deny the reality of the coming destruction. Is this the end? A second look. <clears throat> a some attempt to cope with the inevitable. A group of astronomers has begun to examine the facts, hoping to gather some information the others were unable to see. However, it appears there's no strong evidence that the asteroid will not impact. Shadow of defeat. Many leaders of the world, nations, have dis immediately disappeared. None of what, none of what to do, or knowing not what to do. It seems like very few were planning for such an event to occur, and now anarchy and chaos begin claiming both large and small cities alike. Is this the end? Final war. The dying battle die by heavenly justice. Some will say the choice is pointless. But now that the final war draws to an end, some still fight, but there's no longer anything to fight over, and soon there'll be nothing left at all. That's enough. Probably lock you out of unique final no, content. They're going to continue your current playthrough. Is this the end? I don't know, we've been just kind of hanging out here. The new Dominions. The new Dominions will be protected. It must be powerful enough to maintain themselves. We're going to devote all of our resources to their security, though. And we're just trying to beat up Bashti here. I'm, like, I'm sick and tired of this. Like, this is ridiculous. Where else does Bashti exist? My good lord. Why is this so, so long to take these guys out? I'd say it's a bit too long, in my opinion. It's just taking too long to do all this stuff. Like, their VPs need to be, I would say, pretty, pretty pretty, reduced overall. But that's just my opinion. As we wait for the end to come, collapse of logistics supplies. We lost all contact with civilian and military network that support country. Uh, fired four times, five times, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Falling star. After some time, the falling star was finally visible from the naked eye. Or to the naked eye, I should really say. <clears throat> Uh, first dragon saw, then the moths it fell, growing larger. Estimated nearly nearly 15 kilometers wide, the island of Ascension was confirmed to be its target. Soon the island no longer exists. Echoes of civilization already faded days ago, but as the star, or the star made the impact off the coast. Uh, the final verdict was delivered. A bright white light shone forth, only matched by the 20 or newly invented atom bomb, where the light of divinity itself expanded, and the oceans retracted around the new star. Then across the globe, in Ascension and in the great lands alike. The earth began to shake. The seas rose taller than ever before. All were nearly vaporized. All else will suffer. Rains of the fires of death. What could have been a setback and at last morphed into the end? Very few predicted it would come to this, but the remains of the star launching into the air themselves began to fall, crafting a rain of destruction and fire across the globe. And a match of fire from the sky, a volcanic activity in the great lands have spiked. Oh. Oh boy, it's gonna lag hard. Oh god, it's like the TNO like super event where the end where everyone gets nuked. Oh! And at last, any spark of the civilized world above the surface has faded, there's nothing. The world's end. For hundreds of millions of years, the reptile would rule the planet. For a handful of eons, the co evolved sentient moths and dragons would craft civilization. No, that world, that world has ended though. The fire still burns, but soon ice and snow will dominate. The planet will be like nothing ever before. 
Uh, maybe in their bunkers, many, some may survive for a time, but how they will find their way in the wasteland is unknown, no matter the issue, or what ensues, the world is gone. Our world's gone. And the remnant of life whispers in the shadows, under the ground, in the cold. Haunted by the phantoms of the end, they wait for the goddess to save them. The question of life and balance. Do the gods seek to undo the creation? Do this feat of nature threaten all evolution alive? Would any survive? Phantoms of the end. With two cores of iron, an army marched between our position and our goals. A night was lost. Death's game. Knights of the true core declares war on the phantom of the phantoms of the end. It gives dragon... Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Tank division. Interesting. Well... Okay. If you can force it through to just destroy then take the thing, that should be good enough, right? We won! Phantoms of the M. Secure the position. Two armies appear across the river near equal in strength and neutralizing light. Oh god. Is this going to happen again and again and again and again? Fear and infantry. Wait, what happened to the death? Oh, it was literally just death. Okay, well that's interesting. Um, well. I'm not sure how far this goes. So, yeah. Best to probably get, try to get over the river, maybe? South Region Command Post. Maybe. How much more do we need to promote? Three more CP, huh? Try to encircle them, I guess, you know. Um, I guess. Okay, we got him. So they just keeps popping it up and around a whole bunch. I think is that it? That might be it. I don't know. Deal with this one in the south, I suppose. Or not. Okay. The Q is not very good. Be offensive. If you possibly can, yeah. You know? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Interesting.
Well, I don't know. I guess this might be it. We just keep fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting, but there's nothing else here, so... Um... I don't know. I don't know. If this is just gonna keep coming again and again and again and again, but... Look, the impact's gone. So, I think I'm just... I might just leave it here. I mean, I'm not sure there's anything else. It doesn't seem like there's anything else, so... If you enjoy the campaign... Uh, you know what? Maybe before we end it, let's, let's go back to what it was previously before the asteroid hit and see what it was all about. So we're back with the uh, New Dominions, of course. Uh, but we're going to finish up with the Imperial Corps as well. Force of power for the gods, empire is a necessity. Only with might can we prevail, and then, if you can. Former Emperor, Havius Gildwing, will still represents an existential threat to the goddess empire. As long as he lives, there's a chance that a pretender army will rise, trying to restore his power. Sound rid of ourselves of him, Havius will die. So... Uh, end of the war, just because at this point there's no point doing it now, and we're doing okay. We're doing alright before the world completely goes kaboom, so. Um, research at this point doesn't really matter either. Here, you want uh, some nuclear stuff, that's fine. Get some heavy tanks, doesn't really matter. Uh, oh, Imperial Corps, after the failed rule of Hades, the might of the Empire has finally regrouped. It's time to reclaim our lost glory and restore the Empire that existed 20 years ago for the Empire. Oh, is that it? Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, the PC I didn't do super well at, but whatever. I don't really care at this point since we know how it's going to end anyways. The Draconical Clock doesn't really tell us very much. Oh, I guess it goes south, but... Huh. Is there a line supposed to be here too, maybe? I don't know. Do a war decree. Maybe a war for that too. Hmm. If you can... Empress Rivari had one final goal, to find and kill Havi's uh, Gildenwing. This would not be easy, but she knew exactly how to get the uh, crowd, or the crazed dragon, uh, to come out and play. She began openly barking about how he alone failed the goddess empire, how the war for the core was all his fault, and then she challenged a person to come to the palace and fight her. One-on-one, -on -one, and of course the trap would be laid, and he would be captured, and then he would be executed. The only thing that could stop this from happening would be if someone killed Gildenwing before the empire empress found him. In other words, she had already won. But, of course, Havi's Gildenwing appeared one night in the throne room and the core hall, Somehow evading their air defenses. It was wearing bulletproof armor and carrying a claw blade. He was immediately fired at and fell to the ground. He heard footsteps and sounds of Rivaria laughing. You're dead. You're stupid, cried Empress Rivaria as uh, she walked towards him. Her soldiers surrounded them as they wrestled for control of his claw blade. Mm -hmm. Said Havis Gildwing calmly, raising his claws high above his head. Then, with lightning speed, he sliced out the right arm from the nearby soldier who sees a blade. Firing continued, but the guards approaching him served as good as cover for Havis' maneuver. He turned back towards Empress Rivaria, blasting her. Into her as he brought the blade down on her neck, and then she screamed. He then turned and flew to some of the remaining soldiers, slicing one in half as he was hit by another bullet. Don't shoot at me, you idiot, she's dead. He landed the soldier, other soldiers back to it cautiously. Trust no messenger. The rogue emperor. Hey, he's noted to disappear from the Dragonopolis for long periods of time. That's himself scheduled the former Bastion rival of Pyrrhus instead of the emissary scheduled to go. If he wants to make some sort of statement, shake things up between Bastion and the minor republics. Regardless, this appears to only be the start of the leader's yearly assortment of schemes. Havis returns! After being asked by the RPRC officials, Havis Guildwing returns as Emperor of the Godless Empire following the death of the short lived Empress. What exactly led to this is still unknown. Bro, he's back. Oh, and he can still go down this path? Oh, that is so cool! I did not know he could do that. That is absolutely wild, but I think I'm, I'm still going to end it here. We still know what's going to happen anyways with asteroids. I might disable it next time, but honestly, oh, that's, that's weird. You can go all the way through this path. My first time going through all this, you go all the way through here, and just to get back over here. And it's going to end, the world's going to end anyway, so I might do another campaign for this one. I guess I'll have to wait and see. Of course, we can always disable it still, but still. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I would like to redo this and just like start over here, but since, I don't know, that's kind of cool actually, seeing you have all this, but that's probably for another campaign, so, uh, yeah, that's interesting, you can do this, you can have these two, she tried so hard to like win and do really well, but didn't exactly work, the Ember Kingdom, God of the Godless, actually they're dead, huh, the Godless Throne, twice the victor, well, that's interesting. But hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow to see what else we can do. Maybe another campaign that's similar to this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.